俺が食い止める行くぞあーめーAll right, what's going on, you fam? Were you in here? Ultra Vegito Blue is coming. This guy is insane. From just the initial preview that we got, holy crap! And, you know, first of all, kudos to Legends. What a reveal! They always nail it when it comes to just giving us a awesome reveal for new characters and new events. Every single one of these reveal and stuff videos are amazing. So, you know, kudos to them. 50th year anniversary has been fantastic. This has definitely been a wonderful redemption arc for them, given how bad the 4th year anniversary was. Uh, it was just felt so stale and boring, regardless of the character releases. This is much better. But, we're gonna go ahead and see what Ultra Super Vegito does. Sorry, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito does. Man, the arts action mechanic kind of scares me because my hands are usually dusted after work and I am worried I'm gonna get carpal tunnel. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and skip sort of these parts here. This is sort of like their TLDR, what the character does. We're gonna go ahead and read what the, what the ability is for this character. Um, let's go ahead right away. We know he's a red character, which is pretty good. It aligns really well with the red base form Vegito Zankai Awakening. Red is also, for some reason, a premium typing to Legends. Like, Gaki needed a red forever that got MUI. Took him until 4th year anniversary. I know Future needed one. We got CMZ. Uh, kind of weird. But either way, let's see. Vegito's main ability. Randomly destroy one of your own cards to draw the ultimate maximum impact rush. Restore on health by 30% and key by 50. Remove attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Applies attribute upgrade minus 50% to enemy sustained damage cut effects to sell for 15 timer counts. So this is going to be an ultimate that packs a punch. It only takes 20 timer counts, I believe. Um, uh, isn't Ultra Super Gogeta the same way where his main ability is 5 timer counts sooner? So that means that this is going to hit like crazy. Um, his Z ability, so if your future... Well, the breakdown has always been weird. 5% to Fusion Warrior Ultimate Damage Inflicted at 14 stars. And 42% to Fusion Warrior or Future Base Strike, Attack, and Defense. So this is going to be, what, the first Fusion Warrior Ultra that doesn't actually buff Saiyans? Interesting. Leader Slot Ultra ability. Unfortunately, it is still the boring old... Okay, if he's in the Leader Slot, give him 30% damage with Key Recovery. Otherwise, he's going to get 5% damage inflicted and Key Recovery uh, based off of the no number of Fusion Warrior battles slash support members. Now, let's go ahead. Strike Attack. It has Blast Armor. Every time you hit someone with the, bla uh, the Strike Attack, they take 10% more damage received. Okay. And for his Blast card, he restores 5 Key on activation. No problemo. Is blue card, a high-powered special move that boosts its own power and even has a 100% chance to cause extreme bleed on hit. Massive slice damage, 30% uh, damage buff to special move for 3 timer counts upon activation, 100% chance for extreme bleed, and it has blast armor. In the, in the preview, we saw a cool little uh, you know combo with a slash, that's what this is here, is green card. Nullifies any unfavorable element factors on activation, so for a limited time, fighting against blue characters will be no problemo. It seals the enemy's rush, so it's very useful in situations where you don't want your opponent to activate a rush, like when your vanish gauge is empty. One on a successful counter, recover key and draw a special move arts card next, use it to deal massive damage as a follow-up. That is terrifying. Uh, this is the, I think this is the first green card that counters both strike and blast cards. Usually it's either a blast or a strike, but now it's both. So for you, you got to exert a great deal of patience or use a blue card. Uh, you won't be able to rush them at this point in time. So oftentimes if you're exchanging blows with uh, Ultra VB, now you got to be careful that you go, don't go for tap attacks or uh, strikes or blasts immediately afterwards because... He's going to counter you and he draws a blue card. That's going to be painful. So upon activation, restore on health by 15%. Go type neutral for 10 timer counts. You cannot remove it. So Ultra uh, Rose's blue card can't take get rid of it. Uh, seal enemy rush for 5 timer counts. Counter will work against tap attacks, strike cards, or blast cards. When the counter activates, randomly destroy one of your own cards to draw a blue card next. 
restore 50 key. Inflict enemy with attribute downgrade minus 100% to help restore. So they cannot pop a main ability to sort of heal and get back up. No, they're going to take that blue card damage and die. You can chain it with both the blue or the ultimate. That's going to be spooky. Now it's ultimate. A high power attack that not only nullifies enemy endurance effects, but also damages enemies on standby. That's not all. A new arts action carpal tunnel inducing mechanic will activate on hit. So if you successfully tap enough times, you can deal even more damage and destroy all of your enemy cards. I'm kind of worried about this one, not going to lie. Uh, to all of my uh, software engineers watching, you know what I'm talking about. After 8 to 10 hours of you writing up code, your hands just don't feel that great. So mashing buttons is not a great way to go. Deals supreme impact damage. Uh, applies the following effects upon activation. 20% to all damage inflicted for 3 timer counts. Nullify enemy, restore health when it reaches 0 effects. When this character attacks for 3 timer counts, so no insurance. Portion. Other damage inflicted would also be dealt to enemy battle members on standby on hit. Um, so a portion versus, you know, some units it's a half, other units it's majority. This one is a portion. Uh, activates on act arts action on hit. Uh, the following effects occur if the button is pressed enough times during the time limit. Increases your damage, destroy all your enemy cards. Blast armor when charging forward. I wish they would elaborate on increases damage. Because, um, is it like 50 taps is 10% damage inflicted? Or is it like 30 taps equals 100% damage inflicted? It would be nice to know how much damage you get. Now here's where the dictionary starts, boys. We saw this in the preview. Holy god damn, his multipliers are insane. So, applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. 150% damage inflicted. To give you context, the last ultra highest multiplier was 120. We jumped to 150%. He does 30% more strike damage just as a given. 70% reduced damage received. Has level 1 card draw speed. This alone is so, so dangerous. But Ultra VB, if he gets the game going, if he gets priority first, he has a level 2 card draw speed. Minus 5 to arts cost just for him to combo for a while. Applies buff effect, nullify enemies, reduce Dragon Ball effects for 60 counts. It's almost like they want Ultra VB to get a super fast rush. So Jiren showing up on the field, first form Frieza showing up on the field against the, you know, cover change is no longer going to re remove a Dragon Ball. Ultra VB can just freely combo and rush anyone that he wants. Applies buff effect, nullify enemies, destroy card effects for 30 counts. I'm going to be honest with you, I'm kind of scared of these two mechanics because they started marketing easy to use stuff, right? How much more stripping away can you do of how simple these characters are? Do you know what I mean? Like the skill that's involved? These two things basically say, yeah, you don't need drop combos. Who cares? The, the worst thing that can happen now is like a key reduction, but oftentimes these units get key when an enemy shows up or they get their main ability early or they have a green card to buff it. Like getting rid of any sort of defensive mechanic from cover changes removes the need to drop combo, which removes another little attribute uh, skill thing within the game. So I'm not particularly fond of these things. I'm really am not because I mean eventually you're just going to get a unit that does this, does this, reduce doesn't have any minus key effects because that already exists in the game in the free to play super boo and then you're just going to have a unit that you don't need a drop combo, you just press cards. I'm a little bit worried about that. But either way, when the character shows up on the field, guaranteed to get a strike card. 20% to own key recovery for 15 counts. He does not care about cover change for 5 timer counts. Seal enemy rush for 5 timer counts. Reduce enemy vantage gauge to 0% activates once. Also cancels allies attribute downgrades in a normal conditions if there are 3 enemy battle members remaining. The following effects occur every time when you're faced with an enemy. Do you see what I mean? There. Restore own key by 30. So you don't have to drop combo at all with this guy. Just keep comboing. You don't have to worry about your cards being destroyed. You don't have to worry about you losing any Dragon Balls. And if your opponent is one of those units that takes away key, who the hell cares? You get 30 every time you fight somebody. Inflicts enemy with the attribute downgrade minus 15% to crit rate. 
Seal enemy special move arts cards. The sealed art cannot be used for three counts, so if your opponent does get you on a cover change, they can't even hit you with a um, with a blue counter. Applies the following effects to self if own health own remaining health is 50% or below after being hit by an enemy arts attack while you're on the field. Restore 30% of your HP, and now you start taking type neutral damage for 30 timer counts. You get a Dragon Ball and cancels attribute downgrades under normal conditions. Basically a hard reset for Ultra VB, meaning all the work that you did to get him to that point, you probably need to do again. This unit is insane, and this is just one passive already. Seal engage, reduce vanish, draw a strike card, level 2 card draw speed, 180% strike damage inflicted. I don't know, I've never seen such a unit be so steamrolly, you know what I mean? He, he kind of feels like Ultra Kid Boo with a gauge post green card. Doesn't he? You don't have to care about cover change, you have level 2 card draw speed, you get a bunch of key willy nilly. That's kind of what it feels like. And every card that he uses, every strike card, making your opponent take extra damage is another thing, so it kind of overlaps the combo compensation. Very spooky. Ultra ability number two. Sorry, unique ability number two. Knocks the enemy back to long range if a cover change is performed against their strike card. So unlike Ultra Gogeta Blue, for him it's against strikes. You can combo it with a blue card. Charges your own unique gauge every time this character uses an arts card while they're on the field. It's very similar to Ultra Super Gogeta, but the effects are different. Once the unique gauge is filled, it resets to zero and plans the following effects to self. Draw a strike card. Heal 10% of your health, get 50 key, 30% damage inflicted for 15 counts cannot be removed, 40% to key recovery for 15 counts, you don't care about cover change for 5 counts, applies the following effects to self when this character activates Rising Rush. <laughs> Why would he get a Dragon Ball after you use a Rush? They're just, they're literally just spelling it out for you. Yeah, we want Ultra VB to rush fast. We want you to rush a lot. Kind of funny given that we just got a headliner that nullifies Rising Rush. Isn't that funny? What's that? You just use a rush? Let me set you up for your second one faster. What's that? You just started the game and you have level 2 card draw speed with a bunch of key recovery and you get key every time your opponent swaps? Let me make sure they can't take away Dragon Balls from you so you can rush. Crazy. So either way, all those things, right? Applies the following effects when he activates the rush. Get a Dragon Ball, 40% to key recovery, so you're gonna ri want a rising rush fast so you can combo forever so you can get your second rush really quick. You go type neutral so you don't have to worry about anybody uh, tanking your hits. No blue unit is gonna be able to tank this. And your, all, your rising rush nullifies endurance, so you're just like Ultra Gogeta Blue, but it can, can be canceled. The following effects occur when this character defeats an enemy, restore own vanish gauge by 100%, restore ally health by 10%, aka this man is a hulk, he is intended to be a one man army, he is intended to stay on the field for as long as he can, kick the crap out of you, and you will have a hard time dealing with him. His damage multipliers seem to be very high, his ultimate seems to hit like quite a bit, his combo potential seems to be and never ending, um, I guess fitting for the anniversary ultra so you let me know in the comment section below why you're thinking about ultra vb uh let's just say yeah he's strong super strong we will have to see in the showcases because um you never really know perhaps he has some good blue countering units here you never know what the freezer side could do to him but uh, without further ado we do need to see his stats as well and uh he has tons of equipment available to him. <laughs> Vegito units always have really strong care, uh, unit uh, equipment available too. And he's going to get that nice little platinum equipment releasing with him. So nonetheless, let me know in the comment section below what you think about the guy. I think he's super strong. Very fitting of the Anniversary Ultra. The cherry on top. The fireworks to end it all off. Very, very strong Ultra. But be on the lookout for the showcases so we can see what the guy can really do. It's going to be a fun time. But until next time, guys. Peace.